at the lineup with three changes from Sunday's 3-0 defeat to New York City. He's top team this season and only one change in the 11 with the return of Matt Miazga from suspension. On short rest, Toronto had one extra day to prepare for this contest. They're the only team in the Eastern Conference mathematically out of contention at kickoff. A back line. There's going to be moments I think that see Blessing can find those spaces. As I mentioned, there's going to be commitment from the Cincinnati team at times. Thank you. Mistake here. Good piece of skill there. No, it was two touches. It was done with such speed, class. Poacher's goal for Brandon Vasquez, his seventh in MLS this season. It's Bradley combining with Osorio. Back by Murphy, who anticipated ahead of Murderdesky. This is Mupenza. Just enough to find that Mupenza is denied. Dropped on a doorstep and put back in. It's a second of the match for Brandon Vasquez. Doubling his tally and Cincinnati's lead. Turnover first, not dealt with well by TFC. And then Mupenza drags out Rolstead and then just gets it back. And it's another good save by Gavron, but FC Cincinnati. Brandon Vasquez. Another poacher goal, you would say, Dre? Sitting in the right place at the right time, but that's what you got to be. He's going to be rewarded. Better ball movement now from TFC, flight into the heart of the box, and Yazga was there. Bernardeski. From opening, it's been an equal Bernardeski who took it himself. Oh, it's spilled! And Toronto half the deficit! Game on at BMO Field. The box, and you can see just the number of white jerseys in that area. Made it a little bit more challenging for Cincinnati to defend, and Bernadeski gets a clear look. In the end, it should be a routine save for Celentano, but it can happen to the best of you. But it was a better committed, committed effort from Toronto to get some more numbers in the box. Jonathan Osorio being one of them. Gets the fortunate bounce right to his left foot. It makes it an easy play from there. And Toronto responding in kind. It's been those second opportunities that have seen Cincinnati dominate the score sheet. Using the full width of the pitch, they find Lucho Acosta out wide. Barreal. See, he feels like and he's denied by the crossbar. It's a goes to ground, but it's incidental contact with Rostad. Nothing given it. Bernardeski now back the other way on a short counter. Bernardeski outside of the boot. Osorio! And he has his second. This goal is that Jonathan Osorio will score, and it really comes down to just Bernardeski running at Murphy there. Santano gets a piece of it, but not enough of it. Good skill there from the Italian. And Jonathan Osorio just again in the right spot at the right moment. Does the easy part. Terry Dunfield, the manager of TSC, opted to play a little bit more of a committed numbers forward. Back. It's a good check. And 
good rewarding goal for TFC. That's a lovely leading ball to Adias. Adias! Boy for the top 90, but it's a top shelf save from Gavran. They've really been solid defensively. It's a big part of why they have more one goal victories than anyone else. They've only conceded 10 goals in the second half. That's a brilliant ball for Vasquez, who's denied by Gavran. And again, Acosta was pulling the strings. The overlap from Franklin. Dragged into Michael Bradley from the top of the piece. Bradley parried by Celentano. Is still the danger, not clear. Really difficult angle then when the defenders are closing him down. Acosta driving toward goal. Bupenza with a clever ball. Bupenza! Sizzling stuff from Cincinnati. Bupenza on the score sheet. And that might wrap up the supporter's shield. Does just that. Barial keeps this ball in. That's probably what Toronto SC is saying now. That ball will go over the line, but Lucho Acosta just into the path. And what a touch from Aaron Bupenza, able to play it right into his path with his left foot. And then a difficult angle. He's still got lots of work to do. Finds that far corner. But that link up play between Acosta and Penza, just incredible. That relationship they've been able to form now. Penza really in his fifth start in Major League Soccer. Can only expect it's going to get better. 2023 Supporter Shield winners. A first trophy in their MLS era, and now they celebrate. Top of the Supporter Shield race since May. They never look back. And now a piece of silverware to show for it. Congratulations to Cincinnati. Got to feel good too on the road, able to come in here, tied at half, and then do what you expect. Come into that second half, know you've got the class, and they did just that.